Welcome to Lecture 17. In this lecture, we will explore how we can mix together atomic orbitals into hybrid orbitals, which can predict molecular geometries. This lecture will be divided into two parts. In the first part, we will discuss a property of wave functions called orthogonality. Then, in the second part, we will examine hybridized orbitals. When calculating hybridized orbitals, we will employ the concept called orthogonality. Orthogonality is a comparator between two things, where if the two things are orthogonal, one cannot be used to quantify the other. For example, in Cartesian coordinates, where we have an x, y, and z direction, each of these directions are orthogonal to each other, given that something that lies along one coordinate cannot be quantified at all by the other two. This idea extends to wave function solutions to the Schrodinger equation. If two states, psi m and psi n, are said to be orthogonal, then their overlap integral will equal to zero. In practice, this means taking the integral over all space of the complex conjugate of one wave function times the other state's wave function. What this represents is that the two states are separate independent states if this integral equals zero. Two straightforward examples of wave function orthogonality is applying this operation to two different states of the particle in an infinite square potential problem, as well as two electrons in opposite spin states. Now we will discuss how to predict molecular geometries. Valence shell electron pair repulsion theory, or VSEPR, is a qualitative model based on observable electron densities which can predict the structure of many molecules. It comes from the idea that the electrons around the central atom repel each other so that they arrange themselves in pairs in a geometry that minimizes these repulsions. All electrons, including those involved in bonding, as well as lone pairs, are considered. The shapes for various scenarios are illustrated in the slide. For example, a central atom with two electron pairs will result in a molecular geometry where the two pairs will point in opposite directions in order to minimize their interaction. This makes a linear molecule. With three lone pairs, the electrons arrange themselves in a planar geometry where the angle between each pair is 120 degrees. And with four pairs of electrons, the electrons arrange themselves in a tetrahedral orientation. This model is extremely useful for predicting and approximative shape of a molecule. The intuitive idea that electrons repel each other through electrostatic forces and according to the Pauli exclusion principle is powerful. However, subtle differences in these repulsions due to the electron pairs being involved in bonding or as lone pairs is not done quantitatively. As a result, Vesper has been criticized as an outdated model. Using wave function solutions to the Schrodinger equation can also be used to predict bond geometries. However, using molecular orbitals where the complete basis set is considered can be complicated and time consuming. Instead, a limited number of atomic orbitals around the central atom can be mixed into what's called hybridized orbitals, which will have specific orientations according to the degree of hybridization. This framework justifies Lewis structures in the language of quantum mechanics and provides a theoretical basis for VSEPR rules. For example, carbon has six electrons, and in the ground state, two are in the 1s orbital, two are in the 2s orbital, and two are in 2p orbitals. If the 2s and 1 2p orbital are mixed, then we get two hybridized orbitals. We call these hybridized orbitals sp to denote equal amounts of s and p orbitals were used. Since a p orbital lies along a line and the 2s orbital is spherically symmetric, then bonding with this type of hybridized orbital results in a linear molecule. If the 2s and 2 2p orbitals are mixed, then we get three sp2 orbitals. The name implies that there are twice as many p orbitals than s orbitals. Since the two 2p orbitals lie along a plane, then bonding with this type of hybridized orbital results in a trigonal planar geometry. Finally, if the 2s and all three of the 2p orbitals are mixed, then we get four sp3 orbitals. In this case, the name implies that there are three times as many p orbitals than s orbitals involved. The predicted geometry for these four orbitals is a tetrahedral.